Hello people, today I will be replacing a 33 year old analog thermostat. This thing is ugly, it's inefficient, and it's old. There's a two wire setup, and I believe there's um, no mercury back there. But as you can see, I have it set around 65 degrees, but the thing is telling me that it's 80 degrees up in this room. And if I push on it and I press up, you can see it changes color, so this thing is, it has to go. So I went to one of the big box stores and I decided to purchase a Honeywell programmable thermostat. Um, I believe the model was an RTH2300B. This thing is going to be perfect for a two wire install. Seeing that I do not have central air, I don't have a fan, I'm running oil and it's coming through baseboards, so it's going to be perfect for my setup. And let's see, here we go. Before we do anything, we got to make sure we turn off our power in the room. So I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off this guy and this guy. So make sure the power is off. Safety first, everybody, safety first. And then let's keep it moving. Now I turned all the power off. Now it's time to take this bad boy out of here. First, I'll start by lifting this up, popping this out. Okay. There's no mercury in here. Some of these come with mercury. Where the mercury, when you turn the sky on, the mercury little bulb in there makes contact with the two wires, so it turns the heat on. We don't have to worry about that here or have to worry about disposing of the mercury because it's not anywhere to exist in here. So start taking the two screws out. This doesn't seem like it's even turning. It's like probably don't have these screws anchored to anything yeah this is not even in fact let's try this out let's see if I can just pull look at that look at that pulled right out oh back here is just nasty my two screws fell out we have the two screws then we have a whole lot of just dust 30 years of just people's the previous owners dead skin cells that is nasty that is disgusting I'm gonna get that out of there. But before anything, I know I turned the power off, but I'm gonna check it anyway. Make sure I'm getting nothing in here. This is only 24 volts. I'm getting nothing. It's a good thing. I am safe. Okay. You guys have to see this, this nastiness. I need to bring this up more there. Look at that. It's just nasty. That is just dead skin cells and just a whole bunch of nastiness. Oh well, part of being a homeowner. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna remove this guy and then the white. So it's only a red and a white. So we're gonna do that. Probably not gonna screw this thing all the way. Nope, don't. Nope. Get this guy out of here. Oh, I hope my stuff gets in my mouth. <laughs> and that. So our wires are clear, two little wires, just two wires. That's it. That's all I have. And before I even go any further, I'm gonna vacuum that out because I just can't take it. That's nasty. So I might as well clean it out. So give me a second, I'm gonna vacuum this bad boy out and then we will install the Honeywell. That, my friends, is a million times better. All right, there's my two wires. This one was hot, this one was not. So don't know what that means for the Honeywell, but we're gonna find out in a few minutes, so. Let's bust this bad boy open. We have our Honeywell. And let's, let's open this thing. Let's open her up. So we have our Honeywell programmable. And let's open this thing. It's brand new. Let's get this plastic out of here. Use a screw. Makes it easy. Let's get this plastic out of here. Ooh. New stuff. 
slides out. Oh, pretty, pretty cool, see this? Open it up. Pull it out. Voila. Here is this guy. It's pretty cool. Got some hardware back here. Alright, save that. Um, I'm sure this pops out. There it is. There it is. So this opens up. Uh huh. This is where the magic's gonna happen. Right there. It's pretty nice. Now look at this. It has a little setting here to trip whether you're using gas or electric. I have gas. Well, actually, I have oil. Um, I have baseboard heat. So it's an older house. Getting no central air. It's fine. So I'll set mine right there. Oh, what is this? Some glop up here. Uh, it's on my hand now. I don't know what that is. I'll leave that up there though. It's probably for the contacts. And so it's this. And here's where I'm going to connect my wires to. Got B, O, G, Y, W, and R. I'm going to end up using the W and the R. Um, R, C. Is if I had air conditioner and I want to use these two guys <clears throat> as like a jumper for so they could share the power. And look, as you can see, there's a, there's a little jumper, a jumper in here. I'm not gonna need that. I'm gonna pull that guy out. Um, wait till I grab my little needle nose tool to pull that that sucker out. But then I'm gonna probably most likely connect my white to the W, and then R for the red because I have a red in the white wire. And that's the two-wire connection. This thing probably takes batteries, and it does. It takes two AAA batteries right here. I hope I have some downstairs. I'm sure my wife keeps batteries in this house. Unless we have kids, all the toys, we stay with batteries. All my my remotes, all my remotes, my my Xbox remote, I need batteries. So these take AAA's, two AAA's, and I should be able to install this in two seconds. This shouldn't take any time. And let's see. So these two, these two holes right here aren't the same holes as I had before. And let's see, here's my previous, here's my previous one. And let's see if they line up. At least I can hide the um, stuff or, or my wife or I, I am going to be painting. Somebody's going to be painting, hopefully not. But it looks like it'll cover it. And um, well, let's go to work. Let's start installing this bad boy. All right, the wires are connected. I didn't turn the power back on so I can touch things. But um, you see the white with the white, the red with the red. I took that little jumper piece out, um, screw my things in. No more nasty people dust, dead skin cells. Next is gonna be me and my wife's and my kids' skin cells in here <laughs> until we need to replace it again. But um, that's it. But again, you have. If, if we had um, central air or or a fan or any other other stuff that goes with HVACs, <clears throat> we would have connected up these wires to these nodes right here. But we didn't have to do it because we're only using a two wire two wire setup because we had the old analog plus I only have heat. Um, inside of the box, right? I didn't show you guys this earlier, but you know it comes with this just useless manual for 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 what we're trying to do for two wires there's nothing in here detailing anything about setting up a two wire um you either have to number one do your research on youtube which i did there's a lot of nice video there was actually two real good videos out there that i saw so i wanted to make a third one um, but I, i'll tell you the name of those guys um because i owe them they, they did real good and they gave me the, the confidence and the courage to do this since i am the amateur's amateur um but again one real cool thing is <clears throat> where the original the original thermostat was, this new base covered up all of that where where it was no paint and therefore myself or my wife, we do not have to do any painting. 
But as you can see, again, look, I've got this. If I had central, if I had like an AC or something like that, I would have put the wire in here. Um, it would have shared power between these guys right here. It would have shared that power. Um, but again, I only need this. This is my hot. This is where I'm getting my juice from. And then we got this guy. And I'm going to actually put the batteries inside of, inside of this guy now. So, in fact, let's, let's do that. Let's put these, these triple A's in. This is a little blurry. Here. Let's get you unblurry. Oh, one last thing. Make sure I got this thing set to gas and oil. Or oil. Which I do. Fancy, fancy. All right, I'm gonna go turn my power back on and then I'm gonna set this bad boy back up here and let's see if we get heat. Let's see if this sucker works. Now we're gonna make sure this bad boy has, has power. Let's we'll see. It's only 24 volts, so it's hard to. That is power, people. This thing is awesome. This thing kept me from getting electrocuted a lot of times. Flying Tools, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want to get it from. Amazon. But you can get this with a whole kit. A multimeter, a plug. I mean, this thing is nice. So now, we know we have this. The batteries are in. Let's plug her in. Set it off and put it on the top. Here these little hinges, push it in. Okay, I got everything set up. Got the time right. It's 322 Eastern here in Connecticut. My house is, or at least upstairs, is currently at 70 degrees. I got this thing set to go to 75 because I want to see how what 75 degrees feels like up here. So far, 70 is a little bit, it's hot. It's hot, I can turn it down, but I still want to see. But so far, so good. You can see that the heat's on. I got it set to heat. If I want to turn it off, I'll just turn it off. Cool is irrelevant to me. Um, this right here is irrelevant to me. And that's it. That's a two-wire setup for this Honeywell thermostat. Um, the, 20, the RTH2300B. Um, so far, so good. And I'll give you a review on this later. All right, everybody, take care. And I hope you enjoy the Amateur's Amateur. And this is If I Can Do It, You Can Do It.